welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. I'm not too sure as to when this will go public on YouTube, but if it falls on a weekend, aka Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, then I'm going to be streaming. And I'm pretty sure this may fall on a Sunday. So two hours after this release, I should be going live on Twitch. And that's all I'm going to say about that. The link is twitch.tv forward slash jetkilleradw. Okay. Like I said, I'm not sure when this is going live, but just want to let y'all know. In case y'all didn't know as well. Gronthon Valley is my favorite map in the entire game. Hey, wait for that pause right there. Am I bringing body armor? I am. So, whatever the hell happened before this encounter made me really upset. So, I had to take out pretty much an extra half life bar, if you will, for this encounter. Even though I vaguely remember what happens in this video, I'm going to warn you all right now that it's going to be a, sin a significant portion where I don't talk throughout the video. Because I'm trying to put y'all on to something. If you all can read what I'm doing, then that means you all can play pseudo like me in your encounters. And this is not me, you know, um, tooting my own horn or anything like that. But most of y'all are like, Jet, you play really smart. How do you do it? Well, I'm giving y'all the opportunity to in this video, and I'm pretty sure the next video as well. You hear that time safe going off? Yeah. Let's go investigate.
if there is one thing that the LED6 LSW is good at, it's pulling off headshots at range. That's what it's good at. If there is something that the LED6 is good at that I didn't mention just now, is accuracy down range as well. And I know what you're saying, but Jet, accuracy and headshots are the same thing. They're not. Accuracy is a group, no, precision is a grouping of shots that don't necessarily got to be in the center of the crosshair. Accuracy is shots at the middle of the crosshair. This thing's precise, but not accurate. Makes sense? Cool. Now remember, the Tom safe is still untouched. Why is that the case? We'll find out. So right here, I'm realizing that the comm station is not right here. Instead, it is across the way in the barn. So I'm going to uh, take not necessarily the scenic route, but I'm going to take a route to get to said comm station. So I killed two people, right? Where is the rest of the lobby? Oh. Never mind. I didn't say I was going to the barn. My fault. I was going over here. To this comm station. And I think... Okay, I'm going to radiate this one. And there should be another one right up here. There you go. Okay. The reason why... And this is like a more recent reason as to why I love this map so much. The comm stations are right next to each other. It's a blessing and a curse. But if you're asking me, how is it a curse? Well, if you see two comm stations, well, if you see a comm station used and another one used within 10 seconds, you know roughly where somebody's at. The grouping of those two comm stations. And that's why you see me run all the way over here to the other side of the river and get into relative safety. Relative safety indeed. Now, the third and final comm station is in this barn. Okay, cool. So that's all three comm stations tapped. Now what? Well, I mean, tapped. Not yet, but it's going to be tapped. I mean, I'm already right here next to it. Oh. Whatever well, mind. Damn. Okay. Good thing I only hit two of them. Because at least I know it's, radi it's radiated and overweight. The airdrop on me. Now, I'm going to roll back up here and pull up to the time safe and begin to open it. So, y'all know me. I ping one padlock, one button, if you will. I'm going to run over here and try to find a second one. And this might be what got the first guy killed. It might be. Okay. And the second padlock is down here. But look what happens. I get pinged. And then I use a button. Now check this out. I'm not mad about getting pinged. I'm actually really, really happy I got pinged right here. Watch how this one unfolds. I'm going to stop talking now.
He's dead. Don't believe me? That's a floating box at the top of your screen. Not a person. Let me take you back. When I got pinged at the time safe, it's only right to go ahead and hit a button. Hell, he already knows I'm here. So hit the button, I'm not the safe. Whole time I'm still there. What? Monkey bomb. What do you think he was going to do? Rush toward the time safe because he knew I was there. The same guy with the M249 that we heard earlier. He used his port to find me at the time safe. I said, okay, yeah, I'm here. Let me hit these two buttons right quick to confirm your suspicion that I'm here. Once, he, once I did that, I got out of there. And you see, I ran up and crossed the river. Now, why did I do that? Because if I run deeper into the map, I'm going to run into him. I knew he was back there because he last fired from back there. It just makes sense. So running across the map, across the river to get to the forest, and I spot him running up toward the time safe. Why is he doing that? Because he last spotted me there. So once he confirmed I was no longer at the time safe, I already popped my grenade on the airdrop. I already did. And the thing is, my objective went from bait to switch because as I popped the grenade, I spotted him walking down the hill to get to the road, to get to the bridge, to get to the airdrop. I'm thinking to myself, he spotted me. Ain't no way he didn't spot me, but he didn't. And so he got the airdrop being greedy, being greedy, and he had to run an anxiety marathon all the way up to the exit to only die yards away from said exit. Now why did he take that exit? Well because you know if you have an airdrop, you you don't come up ladders. That is one of the worst ideas you can ever have. So of course you had to go up that way or come past me in the forest. It just makes sense people. I play with strategy, not with guns. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time. Peace.